Okay, so we are recording. And if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Megan Carter. I've been in the business for five and a half years. Um, I am triple diamond in the business and this business is like everything to me. Um, it's allowed me to be a stay at home mom for, oh gosh, five years now almost. And um, I am a single mom. I'm 30 years old. And I started this business when my son was one and he is now six. So he, this is all he knows. He knows that mommy's home and I've been able to be present with him because of this business, but still financially provide for my family because of this business. So know that anything is possible, but these things that I'm going to share with you today is going to help you a, have more fun in the business. I'm all about fun. I am definitely red and blue personalities. So if you don't know what those are, personality colors, look them up, find out what you are. But I am like money driven and I am let's have fun. So put those two things together. That is me. And this is these things that I'm going to teach you tonight is going to help you have more fun in the business. But it's also going to know, it's going to allow you to know a little bit more intentional of who to. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is first five minutes, I'm going to give you guys a whole bunch of like spitfire, some um, tips about why we're doing this and some things that might enhance your results as well. So first thing, people join the business because of who you are, not what you post. So meaning they're not, if you post something about like a product, if you holding a product, they're not going to buy the product because you're just holding the picture. They're going to buy the product because they know who you are your results or somebody who you know is having results. So it's all about telling a story. It's all about showing people who you are, allowing yourself to open up. I always say the more vulnerable you are with other people, the more vulnerable they will be with you. And so that was something that I've had to learn in the past is to be that so that other people can be back in return for me. So I sh the, at the end of this, our goal is to, in the next 30 days, for you guys to use your five pillars. And in 30 days from now, I should be able to go to anybody's page that's on this today or watching the replay of this and know exactly who you are. Not what you do, but who you are. Meaning, I want to know, are you a mom? I want to know, are you a husband? I want to know, do you like horses? Do you like to go jet skiing? Do you, all these different things. I want to know who you are by just looking at your page. Our social media platforms is basically like our storefront to our business. People know that we are open for business because of our posting and what we post and who we add to our market is so, so, so vital. Um, so a little tip is to make yourself public on your social media. Um, it depends on if you want it to do it for Instagram. Some people like to be pr private. Um, I'm public, but um, for Facebook in general, go public. The reason for that is because more people are going to be able to see your stuff. You want that. You want people to see your, you know, your post for a host to post. You want to see your interactive post for a host post. You want people to see your post about who you are because you're going to be adding these people who have similar interests to you. So make sure your page is public. Number two, by what I'm going to teach you guys tonight, make sure you're doing your KPI list number three and eight. They go hand in hand with what I'm going to show you tonight and why it's important. So just make a note of that. Number three and number eight of KPI goes hand in hand with growing your market. And this is going to help make it much easier um, and more intentional. Um, when you started this business, your Facebook, your Instagram, your all the different ways that you can build this business, TikTok, all that stuff has now become your business tool. So you have to treat it like your business tool. It's not just a place to dump out a whole bunch of stuff just because it's cool. You have to be intentional of what you're posting and who you're adding so that you can make sure that you're creating relationships. That's the name of the game is starting friendships, starting relationships. And then eventually they end up signing up with you as a customer or a distributor. Um, and the whole goal of these five pillars is to be able to add people with a similar interest. Um, and here's one big thing that I'm just going to throw this out there. This is for everybody in the back. It is uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable. One more time. It is uncomfortable to add people who you don't know at first, but after a while, you just get used to it. And there is a unfriend button for a reason. There is a block button for a reason. That was one thing that I wish that I could have gotten over in the beginning of adding new people because I was like, I'm a single mom. I live by myself. I'm not going to add all these people. Like they're going to know where I live. They don't know where I live because I'm not posting my address. I'm not posting where I am at that moment. If I'm posting about being at the park, it's like two days later. Or, you know, if I'm posting about being at SeaWorld, I'm not there at that moment. So I'm just very smart about how I'm posting, but then also I'm smart about who I'm adding and allowing them to add me back because 
there's an unfriend button and a block button for a reason. So don't be afraid to use them. Um, okay. So what I want you guys to do is to grab a piece of paper, make sure you're using pencil. This is important. Use pencil because you probably will erase a lot. Grab a piece of paper and just write five numbers and under each number, you're just going to write A, B, C, and then number two, A, B, C, number three, A, B, C, number four, A, B, C, number five, A, B, C. You just need it set up just like this, five pillars. Real simple. And all these things that I'm going to be showing you guys tonight, it's similar for both Facebook and Instagram. I predominantly work through Instagram. I do, I'm sorry, through Facebook. I do use Instagram as well. It's just, I am definitely more leaning toward Facebook personally, but everybody is different. So to each be their own. Um, the only difference between basically Instagram is that you're going to be using hashtags to search people with your similar interests, which I'll talk about that in a little bit. And then one thing I want to say, so hopefully everybody's got their list is set up. So number one through five, and then under each number, you're going to have three letters, A, B, and C. So you're basically going to have five categories and three subcategories under each one. Um, but one thing I want to say is your pillars will be forever changing. And the reason for that, because you are going to be growing. You're, every time you grow through self-development, you will have a growth in your pillars. And so it was a cool thing to kind of look at when I reevaluated what my pillars were than what they were about a year ago, they were not the same. And I was like excited that they weren't the same because it was still who I was, but it was also just like the enhanced version of me because I've done a lot of self-development and gone through a lot of stuff in the last year. So just know, and that's why I say do it in pencil also is because you can erase. It's okay. It doesn't have to be a permanent thing. Um, okay. So, that was my spitfire. We're going right into the pillars now. So our goal is to have five pillars. What the pillars are, are going to be who you are, not what you do. They are who you are. So if you could, if you could name five things about that represent who you are, what would those things be? I'm going to give you a couple things that may trigger a couple, um, categories maybe for you. Maybe they won't, but maybe um, this will allow you to kind of get the brain starting to think about different categories. Um, so if you're a mom, one of them could be a mom, one of them could be family. Um, if you have pets, if you like animals, one could be animal lover. If you like, um, I have a lot of people from Ohio and everybody has farms and everyone like loves farmhouse stuff. Farms, um, people love camo, leopard, um, you know, what is something that defines who you are, not what you do, but who you are. Um, now one of the five things you cannot put into, um, entrepreneur or it works because that's not who you are. It's what you do. So don't put that, but start thinking about different things. I want you guys to start putting them in the chat so I can kind of feed off of you guys. Um, and what your pillars could be. And then what we're going to end up doing is we're going to all have four pillars each. So keep only four of them right now. Five, we're going to have five total, but only um, write down four at the moment. We're going to keep the five, fifth one for something special. And then we're going to um, eventually we're going to have three subcategories for each pillar. Okay. So Amber said stepmom, dog mom, girlfriend, camo. Love it. I love those. Those are so good dogs, animal lovers. And now if you, if you have dogs, right? Well, if you like horses too, change your pillar to an animal lover so that you can use the subcategories as dog, horse, donkey. I don't know. I don't know where donkey came from, but <laughs> just came into my head. Um, thrifter. That's so good. Tabitha. That's a good one. Um, student nature lover. Yes. Those are so good. Fitness lover, yes. Um, nurse, wife, stepmom, travel, adventure, Jeeps, yes. As soon as I read that, I thought Taylor, and it was Taylor. So that's one of, especially one of her pillars. And here's the thing is like, I, I wrote down before I got in here, some of like people who I'm, I'm really close in the business, and I just thought of, okay, when I think them, what do I think? And like, um, Taylor, one of hers was Jeep, and I wrote it down. And another one was mermaids. That's one of hers. That's who she is. Like I define looking at a Jeep. I'm like, oh, Taylor, like that's, I see her. 
Same thing with like Connie. Connie loves, I don't know if Connie's on here, but she loves White Claws. Like I can't not go to Target and see a White Claw without being like, Connie. <laughs> and I don't even drink, but I think of her with those things. Um, for me, a lot of people said that people think of me because my, my son, like a single mom, I talk about it all the time. So one of my personal pillars is family. And I changed mine to family because I am now going through a transition of not, not only being the person providing or being in my son's life. It is, we are now going through co-parenting and, and, um, introducing my son's dad's girlfriend. So I want to start pe to allow people to know me as a co-parent, not just a single mom. So that's something that I'm going to be talking about with my posts and stuff coming up here soon. So I'm transitioning to that. That's why I changed mine from just mom to family. And then my subcategories now are single mom, co-parenting. And I'll tell you a couple of my other ones in a minute. Um, Tracy, first thing I think of is cows <laughs> and her granddaughter. Those are like, boom, that's what I think of. So keep, keep, um, adding some in here. I'll be right back. I have to give my dog water or he's going to keep um, barking this whole time. So sorry. My son's sleeping and <laughs> that could have been really bad. Okay. So let's see. Wine. Yes. Okay. Wine lover. That's a great one. Empty nester. Oh, that's good. Blended family. Love that. Vintage shopper, decor junkie. Ooh, this is gonna be fun with yours. Boy mom, um, crafter. These are all so good. Beach. Oh my gosh, Danielle. I literally, when I read beach, I thought of you, and it's yours. So that's that's a great pillar for you. Shopaholic, <laughs> mom to be. Yes, electronics. Yes, David. I thought of you because you always have your cool lights in the background. <laughs> Sloth obsessed. I need to be your best friend. <laughs> I love slots. Um, coffee addict. See, okay, that's a great one. Here's a great example. Danielle, you said, um, I know we sell coffee, but I'm a coffee addict. You're, that's perfect because you are, you love coffee, whether or not you're in the business or not. So it's a part of who you are. So I'm sure if you were in this business or not, you'd be drinking coffee. You just love our coffee because it's the best. But people probably know, <laughs> People probably know you with having a, co a coffee in your hand. So that's still okay, absolutely. Um, okay, so these are so good. So hopefully you guys got at least two of the four down on your piece of paper. Keep thinking. As I was reading some other ones, Country Girl, Wendy, literally, I read that and I didn't even see your name and that's who I thought of. <laughs> so that's so good. And horses, I think of you with horses. Um, taco stuff. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Kristen. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. Um, but maybe the, some of the things that I was just saying of other people's might trigger something that may be yours. Um, maybe it's gr a grandparent. Maybe it's a mom-to-be. Maybe it's an aunt. Things, anything. Loves to read. That's so good. Loves to read. Um, what was the question here? <laughs> so what we're doing is we're basically writing down our five pillars. We're going to put number one with three subcategories, number two with three subcategories, number uh, three, three, four with three, and five with three. And what we're doing is we are making a list of about four things that define who we are, not what we do, but who we are. So Becca, yours would be mil um, your husband recently married, um, wife, maybe even your um, uh, husband military stuff. Um, so things that are defining of dog mom, boom, <laughs> with Harley. Yes, that is definitely one of yours. Harley girl, yes. Um, but start writing just four things of your categories down right now. Baking, Haley, read it and I thought knew it was you. Depression advocate, that is you. Mom, wife, that is you. So for yours, combine mom and wife and put family. And then split your one, um, your family with mom and wife. Photography, yes. Nana, dog mom, dragonflies. Ooh, that's a good one. Family, I love it. So again, Chrissy, put yours as family, your category is family, and then put Nana, and I would maybe even put dog mom underneath um, family, unless you like other animals as well. Um, then put animal lover as one of them, and then we'll break down um, animal lover even more. So that's up to you. But these are just some suggestions. These are so good. 
Okay, so what I want you to do is then go back into your, your categories and I want you to break it down. So whatever your first one is, um, just like I did for um, Chrissy was, you know, one of hers can be family and then it breaks it down to being Nana. And then it, she could break it down into putting dog mom underneath hers. But start thinking of other things underneath. I'm gonna tell you guys a couple of mine just to kind of get the wheels turning. And maybe this will inspire some of you guys to think of some. So um, one of mine is faith. Uh, my categories is faith. And my subcategories is a servant heart because I am a part of a nonprofit called Pay It Forward. Um, kids activities, learning through Jesus. I talk about a lot of things on my social media of, um, and people know me, I like to incorporate like Bible stories and just things that I do with Kaden. Um, Chick-fil-A, <laughs> I put that one under faith. <laughs> I had to put that in somewhere and the only place it fit was <laughs> under faith. And so you'll see me posting about the fact that like on Sundays, almost every Sunday, I crave Chick-fil-A. And, and I talk about how like, I am so grateful that the business is, is faith-based and Chick-fil-A. And I'm able to kind of tie in both of the business and the, my love for Chick-fil-A in one post. Um, and you'll kind of notice that I'm going to be talking about like posting and adding people because they kind of go hand in hand. And you'll see why in a minute. Family, so some of my subcategories are, um, let's see, um, single mom slash co-parenting, adventures together with my son. I talk about going on adventures a lot. I just did a post today about how I'm grateful for having adventures and stuff with him. Boy mom is one of my categories. Um, this is, this one's a, a unique one. So Michael Kors, I put under family because Taylor Kaufman actually as my, um, my enroller and as my diamond gift, she actually bought me my first Michael Kors bag. And when I opened up the bag, my son looked at me and goes, mom, I love your new purse. M for mommy, K for Kaden. Cause it said Michael Kors, MK. And like, I'm not a huge, like, I don't really care about designer stuff. I mean, they're cute and they're awesome, but I'm more like, let's go debt free. But ever since he said that, I'm like, I need it everything mk and not because of the brand but because like it just it it warms my heart when i see it because the fact that he said that and so that i i have a lot of michael Kors stuff just because he said that cute thing um vol parents so i do online learning at home it's a new thing dog mom um fitness is another one of mine uh, which i'll go into that one at the end finances is one of mine so I am going debt free and I've been talking about it for four years probably now, but I've been super intentional about it for the last two years. So I talk about Dave Ramsey a lot. So he's one of my subcategories. Um, the money envelopes, um, I talk, that's one of my subcategories. Um, and then another one of mine is, my categories is self-care and self-development. And so I put Target underneath there. <laughs> and Amazon. So I called it my target slash Amazon therapy <laughs> because there's just times where you just need to treat yourself. It's in my budget because I do budget everything, but it's part of my therapy when I just feel good, when I can just spend a little bit on myself. And those are the two places I, I basically go for. Um, I talk about being 30. I just turned 30 this year and um, how it's just an exciting new chapter in my life. And so I talk about it a lot and I talk about Rachel Hollis and Trent Shelton a lot. So they're my self cap and uh, my um, subcategories. So those are just a couple of mine. Maybe that sparked a little bit of some of maybe yours. Hopefully it did. Um, does anybody have any questions about like, maybe you're stumped on one of yours. Maybe I can help it help you out. Ooh, cooking. That's a good one. Farm. Yes, Haley. That's so good. Anybody stuck? I just, so I don't want to move on unless you guys are, you're good. Thumbs up if you, if you're ready to move to the next thing. How would you sub cat reading and baking? Okay. So what type of baking do you like to do? Do you like cupcakes? Do you like brownies? Do you like um, fruit types of baking? Do, like specific types of baking? What do you like? Is there a specific um, brand of stuff that you like to bake with? Um, do you have one of those big, I don't even know what they're called because I don't bake, but the big, big blender things, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The big, big one. 
Do you have one of those one? Pies, okay, so pies, cakes, cookies, frosting, there. That's great, subcategory those down. Is there a baking show maybe that you like to watch? Is there a baking contest maybe you've been to? Is there a baking competition maybe you've wanted to go to? Do you sell your baking stuff? Reading, what type of books do you like to read? Um, where do you like to read? When do you like to read? Um, college student, what are you going to college for? Do you have debt? Dog lover, what type of dogs? Is it your dog? Is it a family dog? Is it, um, do you have, here's a good one. So Nicole and I did this together the other day and I was kind of like feet, like trying to pull it out of her of what to get her subcategories. And we ended up talking and talking and we ended up figuring out that she loves, I'm gonna get it wrong. So Nicole, you're gonna have to say it. If you're here, it's called the SPCA, I wanna say, but it's for the animals. <laughs> For, um, she, she donates to this um, nonprofit and she wants to be able to donate even more to this nonprofit. And so that's one of her subcategories for her animal lover one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't remember the exact one for it. Um, Pinterest. Yes. I am all about Pinterest. And actually I'm going to talk about Pinterest too. So um, actually I'll just talk about it right now. So Amber, you said Pinterest. So think about, this is a good way to, you, uh, that could be one of your categories if you want, but Think about what type of boards you have made oh. on your Pinterest. Those most likely are some of your categories. So for example, I have on mine about being a mom. That's one of my category. I have Michael Kors stuff. That's one of my categories because I go on Pinterest and I find inspiration from all these pictures and other people's stuff. And it kind of formed my categories for me because it's what I like. That's what I'm searching for. And it kind of is defines who I am. Um, yes, you can use some goals and dreams um, that you have. Uh, don't put all of them, maybe one subcategory underneath one of your categories. Like, like for example, mine is finance. I want to be debt free. That's part of the finance part of mine. And I talk about it all the time of, I can't wait to be debt free. I can't, you know, but it's also, I'm showing the story of um, the process of what it takes to go debt free. Um, house, wedding, babies, Ooh, love it. <laughs> um, holiday projects. Ooh, that's a good one. So what type of holiday projects? Is there a theme of them? Is it, um, a specific holiday that you like? Is it, um, I see future home projects. Oh, that's a good one. So, um, that could be, do you want to renovate your house? Is it, um, other houses in the future? Is it what type of renovations? Is it going to be certain tile that you know you want? Is it certain, certain um, decor that you like? Oh my gosh, I love that, Wendy. Starting a nonprofit that helps pay people's vet bills. That's, that is part of your animal lover one. That is a future, I'm not going to say goal, that's a future plan of yours. And so that, that needs to be talked about more because you're going to inspire other people, but then you're also going to attract other people who like animals and can relate to wanting to help other people with um, animals as well. Mental health and self-care. I love it. Now, when it comes to what, like, cause, cause I, I went back and forth about my oh. self-development, self-care one, because I didn't want mine to come off as like, um, like all the, um, how do I say this without being very careful? I didn't want to show all of the left side of self-care, self-development, all that kind of stuff, which is the, the deep part, the, okay, I'm going to say this. I didn't want to bring the environment down with just saying a lot of um, deep things. I wanted to make sure that I was always bringing a level of um, how to come out of it, not just woe, woe is me for while I'm going through it, I kind of wait until I've gone through it and then how express to people how you can overcome it is kind of how I would do it. I know Haley's really good at hers. So go onto her page and read how she, she presents um, herself when it comes to um, like depression and how she's been able to overcome it. And she inspires people so much with her posts. And um, so Danielle, I would look at her page as well, but that is a good category to have. I hope that came off the right way. 
Yeah, what I was trying to say was like, uh, like affirmation stuff. Yeah, is usually what I do. Yes. Okay. Yes, and that's so good because not only is it going to inspire yourself, but other people need to see that. Other people need to hear that, and then people are going to be drawn to you because you're you're presenting a positive um, environment for other people. So I love that affirmation. Thanks. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next one. Um, and if you guys want to keep putting them in the, the comments, I'd love to keep reading them because this is kind of inspiring me to kind of expand mine as well. And that's the good thing about this is we're kind of feeding off of each other's. And um, what I want you to do is because we're going to have this piece of paper that has them um, down here and you want at least four of them right now. And I'm going to tell you what the fifth one is in just a moment. But what I want you guys to eventually do is this is kind of like our rough draft right now. I want you to have it in your notes of your phone. And the reason for that is because there's going to be times to where you're going to be out and about and you're going to be like, oh, oh, that, that, that is me. Like that is who I am. I need to add that to my five pillars. And if they're already in the phone, so like these are mine, I just keep adding to them and they can keep going and keep going. And then sometimes I'm like, that one really wasn't me. I just wrote it because it, it was cool and I erased it. And so um, the fifth pillar is a really important one. And the fifth pillar is going to be um, a journey that you're going to have with people. And so what it's going to be is what you want other people to see you as and who you want to become. So meaning, for example, mine is fitness. I don't like working out. <laughs> I want to like working out. I want to be able to, you know, um, know what all the lingos are and stuff like that. I don't, but it is something that I have a passion to learn. And so that is my fifth pillar is fitness to be able to take people on that journey with me and to learn about the fitness and to learn about, um, I talk about 75 hard. I have started and restarted it three times. And if you don't know what 75 hard is, it's a very hard challenge to where you have to do five things every single day. And if you miss one of those five things, you have to start over. And I've started over three times in the last five months. <laughs> I still haven't gotten through my 75 days, but you guys, people are watching this journey with me and I'm not going to give up because I know one day I'm going to hit my 75 days, but I'm allowing people to be a part of this. And it's inspired other people to do 75 hard. I have somebody or just to get up and start walking and be active. And, um, but 75 hard is more for like a mental and taking back control of your life. So if it's something that you want to look into, Google it. But, um, I have somebody who's here local to me and she does, um, the 75 hard and she's on like day 62. She's almost there. And it, I was the one that inspired her. And I had no idea until she tagged me in a post and she's like, did my walk today, did my exercise. And this was like three weeks ago. And I was like, dude, you're killing it. And like, I, I watch, I see her page and it's like day 62. And that was today. And so you never know who you're going to end up inspiring. Um, same thing with like, I want to learn how to meal prep. That's something I've, I would always wanted to learn that, but I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> I bought the things for it, but I just don't know how to do it. But so think of something that you want to be known for. It could be anything. It could be starting a new journey of horseback riding. If that's what you want to do and you want to try it new, do you boo. <laughs> um, if, it's, if you want to start baking, that's a good one. Um, if you want to have a family, allow people into that journey with you. Um, let's see, I'm thinking, see, looking at the, mm, plant mom, that's so cute. Um, okay, so let me look back on. So I also have, um, so fitness underneath one of mine is bike riding. So I've recently started bike riding in the last, this last year. And I took people on a journey with me of every single Saturday, I would go for a long distance bike rides. And I had people texting me like, did you do it? Did you do it? Cause I'm like, okay, today's my, uh, 16 miles. Can I do it? And then I would get texts later on that night. Did you do it? Did you do it? If I didn't post about it. And my longest I've gone is uh, 27 miles. And that's just something cause I wanted to try something different this year. And I learned that I love bike riding. And so, um, Allow that, that fifth one to be something that you want to do, but also something that's new and you want other people to know you as. Another one that, um, these are subcategories again, 
of my fitness one is I want to be able to get to where I want to be fitness wise. And I want to be able to donate my entire closet and get an entire new wardrobe. And the reason for that is because I'm pretty much always in the same clothes because I, we work or I work from home, but then also I had the same clothes as what I wore in like high school. And that was like more than 10 years ago. <laughs> so I need to update my wardrobe, but I don't want to do it until I get to that, that, um, fitness goal that I have. And then I would love to do, and this is kind of personal, but I don't care. I'm going to say it. I would love to do a um, boudoir photo shoot for myself. I mean, I don't have a spouse, so it would be for myself, but I also in the future would love to do one for my future husband for our wedding and stuff like that. But I would love to, in my fitness journey, that be like the ultimate at the end and just feel so confident and not saying that you have to be a certain size or anything like that. But for me, I want to be able to hit my goal of like that 75 days and be able to go and be like, I did it. I fulfilled this and I'm going to go and I'm going to look hot in my boudoir photo shoot. And so I go and I talk about this on my page and I know it's silly, but it's just a part of where I want to be next. And so hopefully that inspired you guys to kind of think, think next and what you want next in your life. So now I'm going to kind of transition into what do we do with these things? So hopefully you have your five pillars down. You may not have all your subcategories, which is fine. This is going to be something, it's going to be a work in progress. It took me a while to get my list in a sense. And it's, it's again, changing and changing and changing because I'm changing, I'm growing. Um, but I want to talk about what do we do with this list now? And this is the fun part. So now that we have our list, I'm going to challenge us to go, I'm going to share my screen. I want you to, because I'm assuming everybody on here probably has Facebook and most of us probably have an Instagram, but I'm going to focus on Facebook for this one. Um, I want you to take one of your categories and I want you to go find and search a group for that category. And what I mean for that is, um, okay, so horses, I just, Wendy, I see your picture. So I'm just going to say horses. If you love horses and there's a specific type of horse that you like, right? Then go into the search bar of Facebook at the very top, and you're just going to type in um, that group. Sorry. Let me go. I'm trying to show you. Okay. You can just search on regular Facebook, or you can go into groups and then just click the little um, uh, magnifying glass up there, and then type in a, a group that you would like to try to search. So for example, I talked about, oh, and Ray Dunn is also underneath my, um, my mom one too, because I love Ray Dunn stuff. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find that magnifying glass and you're gonna type in, for example, like if I did Ray Dunn and I typed it in just the top of Facebook in the search bar, nothing fancy. And I just typed in Ray Dunn and, and it pops up a whole bunch of different, and if I click see all, I'll see even more group pages about Ray Dunn, right? And I want you to find a group, something that has a couple thousand, not the ones that have like 596,800 and that's too many, and not one that has 200. I want you to find one that has, you know, maybe a thousand, maybe 2,000, I'd say like 5,000 max, um, because you want it to be more personal. And I want you to add yourself to that group of whatever your subcategory is. So if Radon is not yours, don't do Radon. Um, and go add yourself to at least one of them right now. Go search for one of them. It could be anyone from your list. Um, for example, one of my categories is family. One of my subcategories is single mom. So I'm in single mom groups. Another one is co-parenting. I'm in co-parenting groups. Another one is Michael Kors. I'm in Michael Kors groups. So start thinking about those categories slash subcategories and start searching for groups. Add yourself to at least one group right now. And when you add yourself to that group, screenshot the picture of like the front page. So for example, if it's this one, I would just screenshot like that so that I have it in my camera, my images in my camera for later. And I'm going to share my screen so you guys can see the next thing. Here's where the fun part comes. This is where I have enjoyed 
really enjoyed starting to create connections with people because I know that every single person that I'm adding from these groups, and I will show you how, don't just go into the group and just add, 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 that don't do that. You potentially could get kicked out of the group. There's something intentional that I want you guys to do so that you don't get kicked out, but you also are adding valuable people from these groups. Um, but it makes things more fun because I'm noticing that when I'm starting to have like a genuine conversations with potentials and even just like if I send out good vibe messages, I am noticing that I'm having similar interests with people and it makes the conversations so much more smooth. Because I know that basically from the day that I started doing this, which was about two months ago and being super intentional of who I'm adding, I am only adding people that have some type of a similarity with me, whether it be Michael Kors, whether it be Ray Dunn, whether it be Moms, whether it be 75 Hard, whether it be whatever it is, I know that I'm adding them from these groups and we have something in common so we can start talking about um, and connecting and starting that connection or relationship. Okay, so. I talked about Ray Dunn. So can you guys all see this picture as soon as it pops up? Can you guys see this picture? Okay, so this is an example. This was the picture that was on the graphic for this um, Zoom tonight. But this, I went into the group and once you have yourself in those groups, your homework, you don't have to do it right now, but your homework is to go into those groups and you're going to post a generic, it, do not, do not, do not post like, I'm with It Works, who wants to join my team? Do not do that. <laughs> That's not the purpose of this. I want you to go into those pages and I want you to put a generic, nothing to do with It Works post in that page that has to do with the page that you added yourself to. So for example, this post I put in the Ray Dunn page. So it says, these are my only three Ray Dunns I have in my house. And I think it's time to expand my collection and make them a focal for my house. They're so aesthetically pleasing to look at. Any suggestions for your favorite displays and which Ray Dunns are your favorite in your collections? Pictures are welcomed. And a visual, I'm a visual person for sure. And what are the best places to find Ray Dunn? So this, it just started conversations. I had like 89 people give me their opinions on this. And what did I do? I responded to their comment. Then we started a connection. Then I went and I friend requested them. And of those 80, I think it was 89 or 88, I can't remember actually which one it was. Of those ones, almost half of them actually added me back and now are commenting on my posts. Whether it be um, post about, because I'm posting on my regular Facebook things about me and my Ray Dunn cup, or I'm, I'm making my coffee in the mornings with my Ray Dunn cups, they're seeing it. So, there, there's a intentional connection with, I added them, I added myself to this page. We have something in common. They commented. It's not just a random person I'm adding now. It's they know who I am because we're in the same group. They probably noticed my name or maybe my profile picture. And because I responded to their comment underneath this picture, they're way more likely to add me back when I add them as a friend. So this is where the whole growing your market comes into place and intentionally growing your market because now when I, you know, it may not be an automatic conversation I have with this person or these people who added me back about like the business or a product or whatever, but I know that when we have that conversation, we have something in common. Um, okay, so here's another example. So I told you guys about Michael Kors. I'm in a Michael Kors group too. And I said, um, so this is actually a buying and selling Michael Kors group. And I... I genuinely am looking for more Michael Kors, but the white print that say M and K. And I said, ISO, so in search of looking for a white logo print, any style, especially cross bodies, backpacks, luggage, and small card holders. And I put, I just had to share. I received my first Michael Kors purse two and a half years ago as a gift. And my son at the time was four years old. And he said, I love your new purse, M for mommy, K for Caden, which is his name. And ever since that, I just want everything MK. You guys, I had like 200 comments underneath this and they're like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. That is so cute. I can't believe he said that, blah, blah, blah. And then I had people like showing me their Michael Kors and everything, but every person who commented and liked, I went and I added, I responded to their comment and I was like, thanks. That's so, that's so nice of you. And um, then I added them and now they are in my network on my social media. And now they're seeing my posts about, you know, host to post. Now they're posting for me. Now they're seeing my stories but we have something in common. We like Michael Kors. It could be anything. If you like skateboarding, add yourself to a skateboarding group. Um, and then here's like one of my ultimate favorites. If you guys want this graphic, I will give it to you. Um, I post this graphic like all the time on my main page. If you're a, um, a 
a mom or this is a great one to have, or maybe if you're a soon to be mom, this is a great one to have, or maybe you just um, want thoughts of like other people. Um, so I post this in a mom's page. Um, it's actually specifically a single mom's page. And I just wanted their thoughts. That's all I said. And 243 comments. And this was before, because this was an older picture. This was before I went and I responded to their, their comments. So that's genuinely 243 original comments that I still went back. So there's, you know, now that I commented from, like, re replied to their comment, there's now, you know, 600 underneath there which then boosts the post and more people saw it and more people keep commenting. But I'm still adding people to my network from this specific post because I'm connecting with them. They're saying their, their opinions, you know, they're like, I have a six year old and there's no way he's in bed at eight o'clock. And I'm like, yeah, I know me too. My son is six and he goes to bed at like, I try eight 30, but normally it's nine 30. <laughs> and like, we started like laughing about our kids and some people will even be like, this is baloney. Like there is no way my four, or, you know, my eight year old is in bed at eight 30 or whatever. And it's, they're just telling their opinions. And then we start a connection I add them. They're now in my nine network. We have something in common. It makes life so much more easier. But the best thing about this too is um, I've noticed that since doing this, my original posts on my Facebook page have gotten more activity and more people have looked at my story than has in the past because I know I'm adding people who actually genuinely like what I am posting about because we have something in common. Um, so hopefully you're in one group. Your homework is to go and post in that group something super generic. It, don't put anything it works on it because you'll probably be kicked out of one of those groups. Um, and stick to just starting relationships and connections with people and allowing yourself to get to know people as a human. Stop being a robot. I, that was my problem for like a year was to robot -y and get away from, you know, use scripts as guides, but be you, be who you are. People want to know who you are, not just what you do. They want to know like, Wendy, I see you in your stalls right now with your horses. Post that right now. And I know you're going to be like, no, nah, but post it. That is like, I'm over here like, dang, that is cool. <laughs> Just because I've never even ridden on a horse. And I think horses are so majestic and I would love to ride a horse. But, you know, people who are in your network, especially if you are adding them with groups like this are going to be like, oh my gosh, I have a farm too. I'm in my stables too. I spend every, you know, morning and night in my stables or whatever, because you're adding them from other horse groups. And, it, and the more specific you are with your groups, the better. Meaning don't just go like mom group, like go like, like some of my groups that I'm in, I'm like boy, mom or single, single mom of a boy. <laughs> That's a top six years old. Like be specific. There are tons of groups that are out there. Tons that um, you will start to be able to add yourself to. I know Becca, I see you. And um, she added herself to some of the, I always forget military, right? Military or is it Coast Guard? That's it. I always get all, all those mixed up. Coast Guard. So she added herself to Coast Guard groups and she's like made friends in her area through these groups. And at first it was intentional for the business, but now she's made friends outside um, the business because she just started talking to people. Who says that those people may not, may or may not be a part of our business in the future? Maybe, or they could just be great friends. But if you're able to allow yourself to like focus on the fact of being intentional of who you're adding through doing this process and, and knowing your pillars, it makes life so much more fun, so much more easy. And it all goes back to now that you know what your pillars are, hopefully you've got them, you know what to post about. So you guys, if you have five categories and three subcategories for each, you now have 15 intentional things to be posting about. That's a lot, a lot. And if you post about those things twice each, you have a full month to post once a day about your five pillars that we just did together. And if you're adding people from the groups that you're adding yourself to, you now have people who are gonna interact with you. The more consistent you are in adding them and making sure that you're interacting with them, 
the more they're going to be interacting with you and the more that you're going to be able to have genuine people coming in your business. The biggest thing that I've learned in this last probably a year and a half is quality over quantity. Meaning I could go and I could add 200 people in, you know, obviously I'd probably get into Facebook jail if I did it all at one time, but if I did it over the a course of three days and added 200 people and they all added me back, but they were all people who I had zero interest with. And I tr started to try to have a connection with them. It would be like pulling teeth because we have nothing in common. And the best example I can tell you about this, cause it was my reality check that I needed was I turned 30 in May. And I was adding a lot of like 18, 19, 20 year olds because I'm like, they're young, they're cute. They're just like outgoing. They just want to like make money. Not saying that there are other people. I mean, Cheyenne, she got this business when she was in high school, but I was like, that, that's what I need. That's what I need. And then I realized like, I can't connect with people who are like fresh out of high school or like partying and stuff. Cause that's not my life anymore. You know, like, and then I, my mom was the one who was like, why are you adding young people? Like you're 30. They're not going to add you back. I'm like, Oh mom. <laughs> but it gave me my reality check of like, I really needed to know my pillars to make sure I'm adding the right people to have the connections to then know what to post to then have genuine friendships when these get started in the business. And I always ask myself, like when people get started in this business or when I start having conversations with people who are going to join the business, is this somebody who I want to go and have I used to say drinks when I used to drink, but I don't drink anymore. But if I want to go to like Olive Garden and have pasta with them, like, is that somebody who I would generally want to go and have pasta with? Because on a Friday night, because I'm going to be ending up staying up till 12 o'clock at night, um, teaching them about the business, getting to know them. So I might as well have some type of a connection with them before just adding them. And so that's where this all started um, from was just you no know, making sure that we're adding the right people so that we can be more intentional and in knowing that it makes it so much more fun. Um, okay. And the last thing that I was going to say was, um, okay. So when you're doing, and uh, cause I talked about why you're, you're adding people and how you add them from the groups and everything. And just talking about posting is now that you've got the five, you know what to post, but then, um, always drip the business into your posts too. Um, I can't remember where we heard it. I don't know if it was the church seminar that I was in, or maybe it was conference. I don't remember, but there was a saying that was, you have to drip before you drop, meaning you have to drip just a little bit here and there, and then you're going to tell everybody about it. So when we're doing our posts and everything, we're dripping a little bit of the business. We're talking about, you know, if it's me talking about bike riding, I love bike riding, but you know what I do every time I post about bike riding, or if I'm posting my story about you know, me being on the bike, I'm showing that I'm A, drinking my hydrate as I'm um, bike riding, B, I had my thermo fight before, and C, I am talking about my 75 hard um, if I was doing it at that time, but making sure that I'm bringing it back to the business somehow, but it's also a part of my pillar too. So see how I like dripped it in there, but I didn't say like, buy my thermo fight, buy my hydrate and all these things. Like I talked about bike riding and how I love it and I love that these products help me burn extra calories and it also helps me um, stay hydrated. Boom. And so always drip in the business. Um, and then you drop it when you're in the messenger with them. That's when you actually bring out all your, your big guns and you talk to them about um, you know, the business and the products and the prices and all that kind of stuff um, behind the scenes when you're in the messenger. Because if they, they're way more likely to explain and open up to you through a messenger than they are to a comment. So never respond in a comment. Um, like if they comment under your page and say like, oh, I'm interested in Thermofight or whatever it is, or I'm interested in, you know, that hydrate that you drink when you um, bike ride, I'll be like, okay, I'll message you. Like I won't go in my comments and start like um, giving them all the information. I always do it behind the scenes because I'm going to ask them like, do you bike ride? Do you do this? Do you do that? And we get connecting and then maybe they're going to end up wanting more products. Maybe they have goals of their own. And that's where the drop comes to where then we explain everything. Um, and then just going right back in a full circle is if you're doing these things and doing number three and number eight on your KPI, that's where it all comes first full circle because number three is to go to your friends list and pick 25 people and interact with them. And so if you're adding people from your, your groups, then the next day, you know, after they add you back, 
you're going to go onto their page and you're going to interact on their page. And most likely what they're going to do is they're going to be like, who is this Danielle chick? And she's like commenting on all they, And when I interact with like on number three, I always go react, react, comment with the question. So if you hold your finger down, like on the thumbs up button, it, it shows like a heart and it shows like a caring and it shows like a sad face. Like those are reactions. So if you use a reaction, you have way more, your, um, your algorithm is boosted much higher if you use a reaction button. So I always react to a, um, a post of theirs. I react to another post of theirs. And then I comment with the question. And the reason for the comment is because they're going to respond, but then they're also going to be like, who's this Megan chick? And why is she talking about the fact that she has a six-year-old son and asks my, the name of my son? She's going to go onto my page and she's going to look at my page and hopefully it'll trigger the fact that she knows who I am because we're in the same group. And then she's going to see my post about host to post and then she's going to add her entry into it. So it all comes full circle with that. And then number eight is just um, adding the minimum of 25 people. And on here, it, it suggests from, um, from a specific area you want to grow your business, hint, hint, wink, wink, the groups. That's why it all goes full circle. Or from post to post, you can also do it. But adding, interacting, it all goes hand in hand. So that was a lot. Hopefully you guys got all that. <laughs> Share this with your teams. Do you guys have any questions? Put them in the chat. I'm gonna spend like five minutes and um, anything I will answer. I see how often do you post on pages in your subcategories? So on my calendar, I have, um, I have like a desk calendar like this. On my calendar, I pick one day a week. Um, I mix it up because I don't want people, like if I end up posting in the same page, um, I don't want it to be like every Thursday I post in the same group. <laughs> like I want it to be mixed up. So for um, last week, it was uh, Wednesday of last week. And this one is, well, actually I actually need to change that because I won't be here Saturday. So Friday. So Friday will be my group that I post in. So like once a week, I have it on my calendar and it just says post in groups, use five pillars. And then I'll go in the groups and I'll um, choose which one I want to post in. And that, and when I told you guys to screenshot it, it's because then when you go into your images of your phone, it'll just remind you, oh, I need to check that. Like just to double check the fact that, I wonder if more people commented on that. Kind of like host or post in a sense. Um, I'm going to post about doing stalls. Like you said, yes, <laughs> tag me in it, Wendy. Um, so good. Any, any other questions, you guys? Anything at all you can ask. Um, Chrissy, I see you can't find any Nana groups. Um, I, I only know this because my mom, <laughs> when my mom was watching my son, she, we looked into finding groups for like Nana's watching grand, grandkids. And so like, I remember us finding groups on Facebook about that. So maybe looking at that, like, like, cause Nana's, she wanted to find other nanas who watch their kids to go to, to do like play dates and stuff and so we looked up nanas who watch their grandbabies and we were able to find a couple groups so try that maybe there's some in your area Ooh, barrel racing that's cool okay guys so if there's no other questions i'm gonna stop the recording um